Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I wanted to show you guys how I connect my PS Vita to my PC. I get a lot of questions saying, hey, how do you stream your Vita to your PC? It's actually very simple. It's a plugin that you install and then you go through the uh, OBS or whatever streaming uh, program you're using on your computer. So I will perform that connection here real quick. There I am on the screen. Before you plug in your PS Vita to the USB cable, make sure the plugin is fully installed on the console, restarted, rebooted, ready to go. And you can go ahead and plug it in. So let's plug it in here. And it looks like it's not going to do its thing right now because it's trying to connect to the uh, the PSN network deal. Let's see if I can get it to be a show real quick. Yeah, so uh, another thing, if you're having issues like this, this is very rare. It will only happen when I start recording, but if it does happen, you can just hit the restart on your console and have it plugged in. So there it is. And I will use my stand real quick to show you. I'm going to throw that upside down. And I'm going to use my PS4 controller because I have it hooked up to the PS Vita. So it works great. Uh, it says subscribe there on my screen. Nice. And when you open up uh, OBS, what you want to do is add a new source. And you want to add a video capture device. So what the plugin does it acts, it makes the PS Vita act like a camera. So let's, you saw how that screen flashed. That means that it's connected and the plugin is currently in use. So let's enable my uh, PS4 controller. And now if you connect it, you have OBS open. And if it's not working, what you want to do is hit the deactivate. See how it turned black and let's activate. And I have to constantly do that every time I connect it for the first time. I don't know why it doesn't work right away, but that's what I have to do. So now it's working just fine. Nice big old screen here. And I can expand that. And then I can start gaming or do whatever I'd like to do. You can uh, make a separate window, obviously, with just the, uh, the Vita screen. Um, but for me, I'm recording. This is my new setup of recording. I have my camera up here, and this is my PS Vita screen, obviously. But yeah, it's working just fine, and it looks like my controller is dying, so I have to charge that up. But yeah, I will show you the plugin that is required for this. And I'm actually going to start recording on the OBS and we're going to jump into that right now so the plugin we're going to be using let's dive into auto plugins 2 real quick and it's very simple and easy to set this all up go to Vita plugins install plugins this plugin is going to be called UDCD underscore UVC and it's going to depend on which model you're using I apologize for the bright light here let me turn that off there we go and I'm using the OLED the 1000 model so you're just gonna to have to choose which one you got the LCD is gonna be uh, the PS Vita 2000 and this one streams your Vita screen to your PC over USB so this is like the uh, basic uh, plug-in but I just would prefer to choose the OLED or the LCD. So I, I just go that way by Serpy version 1.7. Thank you, Serpy, for this amazing plugin because it, it makes a recording video with any homebrew on the PS Vita very, very easy and fast and saves me a lot of time. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A very quick one. Uh, my uh, room is a little bit of a mess. I do apologize for that. But thank you so much for watching. 
Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. If you have any questions, comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this and many others in the future. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.